Well, I got my pepper fines up. Uh, since we only plant about eight, I think that'll work. And if you can see these blackberry lilies, they take a long time to come up. They have a big hard shell. But they're coming up. They're really quite a unique little plant to have in your garden. And when uh, at the end, they really look like they have a blackberry on the end of it. We've been cleaning up in the yard today, and the tomatoes were getting a little leggy. So I figured I better put them out here in bright sunshine so they can uh, not be so leggy. And when I plant them in the uh, half gallon milk cartons, over half of that plant will go into the soil, so I'm not too worried about it. These in this first tray are about the right size for this time, and those back there are getting a need more sun this is a rack I use to put my plants on just saw horses and some old boards sitting on two by fours and you need to keep them level if you don't have a level all you have to do is put a tray out and put some water in it and maybe you can see it but it's dry up in this corner you can see the water line and down there you see a lot of water in that corner and a little less in that corner. Well, you can just shim that up with small boards to make this tray have water equal all the way around and it's level without using a level. That's another cover we have to use because the squirrels here are atrocious. The other day this video was uh, showed that a branch had broken this and we made a little temporary repetition job on it and you notice over there my aquarium's gone it took an hour and 20 minutes to saw it up with a recip saw and that is unfortunately now in the landfill we did some cleaning up today and we're topping off this compost pile and it's pretty much going to be done for the season here probably another day or two you notice the grass in here one of the things about compost is you got to have green material to make it work. If everything is dry material, it'll probably compost down, but the green material help, helps it work faster. Most of this is grass, but you have to have some green material in layers with the dry material so that when this compost is at a faster rate because it's green, uh, it will affect the compost above and below it. So this is a good mixture of uh, grass and leaves for it to work and this is what's left of the compost that I will use last year and there's still some in it I will put some of that on top of this compost pile and then I'll probably seal it over with a piece of tarp we have a Virginia creeper problem every year and you won't believe I cut this all the way back to the ground what I need to do is go in and get the roots I don't know if you've ever used these little carts. I sound like a broken record, but uh, we've been using this for years. They're great carts. You can see by the placement of the wheels that uh, when you lift up on it, it's balanced to where you, uh, a small person, a lady that's not really a large, strong, muscular person, can lift that handle up and move way more than she could ever carry. They really work really well, but man, the last time I priced one, they wanted $235 for them. And here's another little toy that's really great, and as everything I have, we've been using this forever. This thing is a mantis tiller. Now I set this up to do an edging work. It usually has a blade on both sides. And I put the wheel on one side and the edging blade on this side and I'll just pull those pins and put the double blades on both sides. But you can tell the oil and everything on it in the dirt. We've used that a long time and it has started every time I've ever pulled the handle. Another little secret you might do on your little two-stroke stuff. Take a magic marking pencil and just write right on the cover. It's 50 to 1 oil because we've got all kinds of different rates, 40 to 1, 50 to 1, and it's really nice 
you won't get confused. 